Hey everyone, this is Leon from Fiasco and Prologue Projects. On this premium episode of 5 to 4, Peter, Rhiannon, and Michael are talking about Supreme Court Justice Stephen Breyer. Breyer is the longest serving justice on the court, and one of just three justices appointed by Democrat. The 83 year old Breyer has so far declined to retire. His argument is that strategically retiring during a Democratic presidency would politicize the court. Your hosts argue that that horse is all the way out of the barn, if it was ever in there in the first place. This is 5 to 4, a podcast about how much the Supreme Court sucks. Welcome to 5 to 4, where we dissect and analyze the Supreme Court cases that have rotted America's soul like candy to a child's teeth. Mm. I am Peter, (laughs) Mm. and I'm here with Rhiannon. Hi. And Michael. Hey, everybody. And today we are covering uh, a bit of a hot topic. Supreme Court Justice Stephen Breyer. Wow, so spicy. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Stephen Breyer is, uh, of course, one of the three remaining liberal justices on the court. And he is by a wide margin the oldest. In fact, just a few days ago, he turned 83 years young. Happy birthday, Stephen Breyer. Yeah, he's also the, um, did you guys know this? He's also the Supreme Court justice who looks most like a jar of mayonnaise. <laughs> hmm. Now that you say it. It does sound right. It does sound right. Yeah. And, you know, of course, Breyer has attracted controversy lately with what appears to be a decision, at least for now, not to retire. <laughs> Uh, At a time where Ruth Bader Ginsburg's failure to retire under a Democratic president has officially cost us a seat on the court, his decision has come under some pretty well-deserved scrutiny. (laughs) So we are going to walk you through Stephen Breyer's life and see whether we can glean from it what might have caused his brain to malfunction so thoroughly, (laughs) leaving him without any notable ideology and completely unable to process the politics of the modern world. (laughs) Yeah, his brain just goes zero one zero one one one. The Supreme Court is good. Robot servant to the Supreme Court. Yeah, and on that note, obviously we'll wrap this episode up with me doing an impression of Stephen Breyer as the Blade Runner android. <laughs> yes, giving the yeah. tears and rain speech. Excellent. And then we can call it a day. <laughs> Blade Runner is a movie about Stephen Breyer, really. <laughs> well, the difference between him and the robots and Blade Runner is that we don't really know whether they have a soul, whereas we know that Stephen (laughs) Breyer does not have a soul. The moral dilemma is completely absent. The central question posed by Blade Runner, uh, what is it to be a human, is something that you could easily see asking yourself after a long conversation with Stephen Breyer. Yeah, title of his memoir. (laughs) (laughs) Sari, I think first we're starting off with uh, a young Stephen Breyer. Yeah. What was that guy like? Was he ever young? (laughs) (laughs) Right? Yeah. Yeah. He's just like a perpetual old vanilla white guy. This biography is going to bore you to tears. But here we go. You know, the story of Breyer's ascent to the Supreme Court is a really classic story of the career trajectory to the Supreme Court for this generation of judges, right? So you started off in the Supreme Court's mailroom, impressed the right people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Worked right. his way right up. It's like Will Smith in Pursuit of Happiness. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just like Will Smith in Pursuit of Happiness, Stephen Breyer attended Stanford for <laughs> undergrad. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> and then was a Marshall Scholar. Hey, folks, if you want to hear the rest of this episode, you're going to have to subscribe. Uh, this episode is one of our premium Patreon-only episodes. Membership starts at just five bucks a month, so if you want to hear the rest, join us at patreon.com slash 54pod. That's 54pod all spelled out. Members get a bunch of stuff. Not only do you get access to the premium episodes, but access to subscriber-only events, discounts on merch, uh, and at the $10 a month level, you get bigger discounts on merch and membership in the incredibly rowdy 5 to 4 Slack so again, that's patreon.com slash 54pod, 54pod all spelled out. Uh, become a member today. 